If you're thinking about moving to Spring Hill, Tennessee, you're gonna wanna stick around for this video because we're going to give you the most extensive tour of the Spring Hill, Tennessee area that you will find anywhere on the internet. I'm Brandon John. My name is Caleb Lovejoy. I'm Sam Coleman Answer with the Coleman Answer Group. If you're new and you want to stay in the know on all things Nashville and the surrounding areas, you're going to want to subscribe to our channel and tap that notification bell so that way you stay up to date on the current market here in the Nashville, Tennessee area and also because we are the number one channel for all things Nashville real estate. I'm Brandon and my partner Sam and I get calls and texts and emails and DMs every single day from people just like you looking to move to the Nashville and the surrounding areas. So if that happens to be you and you're looking to move to potentially this Spring Hill area in the next 60 days or in the next six days, reach out to us. You can even click the link in the description below where you can get on a Zoom call with us and we can meet you face to face and we can help find that perfect home for you and your family here in the Spring Hill area. Now, as mentioned, this is going to be an in-depth tour kind of vlog style, show you around Spring Hill, Tennessee, and we're gonna start it off by starting here in the crossings. Now the crossings of Spring Hill is a shopping center, there's restaurants, big box stores, and even a movie theater right down the street. So you've got Longhorn Steakhouse, you've got Target down at the other end of this, we've got Kohl's right behind us, Ulta, Old Navy, Sephora, those big box stores. Now there isn't a massive shopping mall like you'd see in Franklin, but if you're looking to do any more extensive shopping uh, other than you know Ross, Kohl's, Target, Ulta, and these spots here, you're going to go to Franklin, to Cool Springs Galleria. There's so many more options there. Massive actual mall with H&M and Pottery Barn and those types of stores. But this is that shopping area that you get right down the street if you are living in Spring Hill, Tennessee. Now the crossings is the Southern side of Spring Hill and it's right off of Saturn Parkway. You can actually take it right to I-65 and go downtown Nashville or Franklin or Cool Springs, wherever you're going. This is about a 40 minute drive to downtown Nashville and about a 25, 30 minute drive to the Franklin Brentwood area. So for that other shopping I was talking about. Now, before we go off to our next spot, Spring Hill, Tennessee, a little bit more about it is the population is a little over 42,000 in the last census of 2020. So we're probably close to that 45,000 person mark here in Spring Hill just over the last couple of years we've seen some massive growth tons of new construction homes and there's an overwhelming amount of people that are moving here whether that's because of the GM plant and the businesses that are coming here but also just the surrounding areas and the commute is just not bad if you're working downtown Nashville or Cool Springs. So some of the most popular questions that we get asked is how are the schools in Spring Hill, Tennessee? Well I'm about to answer that for you let's head on back into the car and we'll go check out Summit High School. All right, we are in the parking lot of Summit High School, I'm actually right out front, and I've got Sam with us now. Uh, now, the thing about it is, I'm gonna go ahead and okay. hash this up front. Okay. You know, Brandon's from Spring Hill, so he, he knows a lot more about this area than me. But, you know, I think this is a good learning experience for not only you, but for me as well, about the school system. Yeah. So I just wanted to put that out there. Yeah, so this is the southernmost high school in Williamson County. Spring Hill, if you look up Spring Hill, just schools in general, there is a Murray County and Williams County inside Spring Hill. Okay, so there's Spring Hill High School that is a Murray County school. Um, so that's just something to make clear for you, especially if you have kids and you're looking to put them into, you know, the certain school system if you want a certain ratio of teachers. 17 to, to 1, 17 yeah. to 1. Big ratio guy, he always knows it. Um, but if it, schools are important to you, just that's a thing to keep in mind. Yeah, because there's a lot of new construction neighborhoods that are popping up and you mm -hmm. want to make sure that if you, you know, if you want to be in that neighborhood, is that, you know, a summit going to be falling between those? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, and, follow those and we'll touch on that, uh, especially the prices, homes. We're going to take you actually into a couple different neighborhoods here in Spring Hill. But this is Summit High School, and um, this is kind of the quality, as you've seen in probably some of the other videos with Franklin and Brentwood. Uh, the it's a similar nice, style. The schools are nicely built around mm -hmm. here. Yeah, sure. they are, for sure. So great facilities. How many high schools are there in Spring oh. Hill? Two high schools, right? Yeah, there's two high schools. In Summit, Spring. Spring Hill. But the thing about it is if you, you could live in Spring Hill and get zoned to Independence High School, which Independence High School is technically located in Thompson Station, but there's just so much growth inside Spring Hill. And there was actually a new school that just popped up, Thompson Station Middle School. 
just because there's so many students, they, they don't, there's not enough buildings and yeah. teachers to put, so we've had to pop up some schools. And they're also making additions on the building right now. Yeah, additions in the back, just like I said, continuous growth here in Williamson County. When people are moving here and they have kids and they're looking to go into public schools, it's always about how can I get into Williamson County because Williamson County is ranked top in the state of Tennessee and also ranked highly in the country as well. Now what about sports? Sports. There's been some state championship appearances on multiple different sports. Um, actually football, um, they killed it. It's gotten to that point where it's, co it's competitive no matter what high school you're at uh, inside Williamson County. One cool sport that I always talk about is that actually was this year was the women's flag football. So district, it's technically not a TSA sport, but women's flag football, football along with some other club sports are out there. And that just goes to show like Williamson County continuing to, to have diversity and just opportunities for students. Yeah. We do have a map tour on Spring Hill and you'll kind of see the location of Summit, but right down the road is Spring Station Middle School. And Spring Station Middle School, people walk back and forth because there's some like high school classes you can take while you're in middle school to get credit. And they just walk back and forth during the day so they're right next to each other. But these homes, especially the new construction yeah, homes. Yeah, Wilkerson Place, you actually did a video on Wilkerson that, right? Place, yep. There's some new construction homes that are just gonna have walking trails to both of these schools. Yeah. And you can check that video out. And then Thompson Station Middle School is a newer school right down the road as well. And then you've got Allendale Elementary tucked away. You've got Chapman's Retreat. So lots of schools. A lot going on, dude. Mm -hmm. going on. So that's enough. Talking about schools, we do have specific videos, like Sam said, about workers in place, that neighborhood. But what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go right across the street, check out some neighborhoods, give you style, kind of a feel of the style of homes that are here. And what it's like to be in a neighborhood. And also price points. Price points. You know, Important. price points, style, what it's like, what the feel is. Are there sidewalks? You know, is it walkable? Are they safe? We're about to answer those That's questions for you. So let's head on across the street and check, check it out. It out. Okay guys, we are in August Park and we're actually right next to Cherry Grove over here. This is August Park and then behind us is, well I guess in front of us, is Spring Hill Place. Home of Brandon Johns. Where are you <laughs> from, dude? Yeah, so this is kind of the area. This is like the heart of Spring Hill. You got Main Street on, if you're looking at the map on the west side and then where we just came from is Summit High School right off of Buckner Lane. And in the center of all of it is really all the neighborhoods. Yeah. Um, so what we're walking through right here, these are new construction homes. And these are around that 4,000 square foot mark. Yeah, I mean, you see a lot of four bedrooms, four baths. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I can see that the style, the white builds. Uh, these homes right here, a couple of these just actually recently sold. Yeah, like three or four just sold. Mm -hmm. And one, around that million dollar mark, 1.1, even 1.2. Yeah. And we're looking at around 315 to even 330-ish yeah. dollars per square foot. Yes, the ones that have sold are around that, you know, some have sold for 315 a square foot, 310 a square foot, 305 a square mm -hmm. foot. Uh, but you have a couple that are listed right now for 330 a square foot, yeah. which is like crazy. And that's these new construction builds. Now, like I said, in front of us is actually Spring Hill Place. And Spring Hill Place, those were in different phases. It actually started building before 2008, the Great Recession. And so the actual phases paused and they finally finished them out. But those range from like early 2000s to even around the 2013, 2014, 15 mark. And right down the street, I mean, not even a quarter mile, mm -hmm. um, you've got homes listed that actually just sold for $245 a square foot, 2013, 2014 build. So there is some room there if you're wanting to be, I mean, you're right next to these brand new constructions going for 315 square foot. I mean, that's going to help your home Especially value. Especially right for now sure. in this market where buyers mm -hmm. have the negotiating power that they have. Mm -hmm. You can get in, you know, get, on, get in a house $20,000 less than what it's listed for. You have these homes going up for $330 a square foot. It only helps you in the long run. So, mm -hmm. like, this is the time to get in. Especially yeah. right there, Spring, Spring Hill Place. Yeah, and these are these larger homes for around that 3,500, 4,000 square foot mark. And so these are some larger homes in the Spring Hill area. But you, you have some homes to step back. Like we talked about, it was Wilkers in Place. That's yep. also new construction. That's right next to Spring Station Middle School. It's across the street from here, this is on the other side of Buckner Lane, but it's right on that Spring Station Summit High School side. And you can get in there, brand new construction for that $700,000 mark, yeah. which is, you can't really get that in Williamson County, new construction, because like I said, there's that huge pull and huge demand with the schools, 
but then it's also new construction and the demand and the supply shortage. I mean, it all stacks up and it's hard to get to that price point. But there, but again, there are a ton of new construction, and that's kind of what we specialize in. Like, if you want new construction, mm -hmm. if you're looking for it, you want to reach, you want to work with somebody who has the connections to get you those deals with the with the builders and all that good stuff. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah, because a lot of these that you're seeing, they're already sold, yeah. and they're sold before they even break ground a lot of times. And now the market is changing, so there's some leniency here. But it's great to get on on the inside and get into part of these developments before. You know, so you can get in early, right? Exactly. Get in get early. Customization, all the different things that go with it. it. Never hurts to get in early. But yeah, so there's tons of options. We actually have individual neighborhood tours here in Spring Hill. We've got Spring Hill Place, Cherry Grove. We did one on Benevento, Bricksworth. You'll see those on the channel. If they're not already posted already, just keep an eye out. Make sure you subscribe so you stay notified with them. And you've also done like an entire map tour of Spring Hill. Entire map tour. Because I think that helps. It's like, it's good to get the walk around tour and you see feel it, like. see what the neighborhoods are like and shopping, etc. But also I just get on the computer right on the map, kind of navigate it for you so you can kind of get the whole big picture thing. So you can check that video out as well. But now we got a couple more spots. More spots. Um, we got to check out parks. I want to show you that. Um, but we also have to go get some lunch really quick because yeah. we need some food in us. <laughs> and I want to talk about a little bit different area and got to touch on where Chick-fil-A and, and Publix and stuff is. So let's get on the car let's go. and let's go check that out. One more thing that I want to touch on before we go eat is these homes right here. This is Bricksworth. This is right on the other side of Spring Hill Place. Um, but the average home prices of Spring Hill, they're around that $600,000 mark and that's of the Williamson County side. So if you get on the Murray County side, it will be a little bit different. Um, home prices are gonna be a little bit lower, but like I said, that goes into like the schools, etc. So these homes right here, this is Bricksworth. This is a newer phase over the last couple years. And the first part of these phases actually started selling for around like 450K. Um, now obviously over the last couple years, they've gone up a lot. But just wanna to touch on that $600,000 mark is the average those new, new constructions up to a million, 700K, 800K. Um, so that's just something to keep in mind. And I also want to add, um, we've also done top neighborhood tours. It's coming, the video's gonna be coming soon. I know we filmed it. And uh, this neighborhood was in that video, so check that out as well. Okay guys, this is like the second shopping restaurant area in Spring Hill. This is right off of Main Street. And as you can see behind me, there's Chicken Salad Chick, T-Op. Um, we've got Chick-fil-A right here on the corner. Publix is right down the street right here as well. You've got Walmart and you've got Kroger down the street here as well. So this is like the grocery stores, two of the three grocery stores. You have a, another grocery store, another Kroger over by Port Royal. Um, so that's away from here, but not too far. And you also have like Jersey Mike's, you've got the UPS store, you've got McDonald's, Hardee's. This is kind of like this area right here, but you also have Starbucks down the street. So it's shopping, a little bit, a couple shops and a lot more restaurants and your grocery stores. But we already lost Sam because he already ran in there and wanted to get some food, so he didn't even, he, he forgot to film this. Um, but now it's my turn. I'm gonna go in there and I'm gonna go get some food in the T-Op. You gotta check it out. There's one in Franklin, there's one in Spring Hill. I think the Spring Hill one's better, but let's go get it. This is what I'm talking about right here. This is that T-Op. New York strip, salmon, avocado, tomato, cilantro, rice, white rice, brown rice. I mean, this is just so much goodness. So much goodness. Oh yeah. All right guys, so we're back. We just, I'm so full right now. I know, I am too. Freaking amazing first so, time he loves first it. time next time i can actually do my order better but i mean all the ingredients were perfect mm -hmm. yeah. so we're at sarah benson park actually we're located in thompson station but it's just outside of spring hill and this is a 27 acre park you know you have walking trails pavilions i mean you have a ton of stuff here to hang out and really just kind of enjoy the park yeah the cool thing about this park is you have walking trails that go up into the hill they get pretty rugged but if that's not your taste you can be on a trail just like this ride around a loop and really big field out front. Um, but that's just one of these parks. There's so many parks in Spring Hill. I mean, yes, you said it's in Thompson Station, but it's only a quick drive down the road. Yeah. You've got Fisher Park, also known as Port Royal Park, playground, splash, uh, splash area, um, multi-purpose fields, basketball courts. You've got Harvey Park, same sort of thing, walking trails around Harvey Park. You also have Skate Park, yeah. Kedron Park, which is a nice walking um, trail oh, around a big loop. Right? I, I was younger, yeah, for sure. 
but yeah, tons of parks in Spring Hill. And I mean, this is a beautiful day. I mean, we picked an amazing day to come out here. Day. I love the terrain of this park. Like it's really kind of, it's much different than most parks that we, we get to see. Cause there's oh, yeah. a lot, it's a ton of parks across Middle Tennessee. Mm -hmm. There's a great variety. Like I said, you can kind of, whatever you're looking for, if it's you're taking your kids out, maybe you go to Harvey Park and that's a more like a playground, great for them. Or, you know, if it's you and your friend and you're looking for a challenge, you come up here and hike up in the trees, I'm sure you're gonna be winded. I know I was after a right. couple. You sound like you're a little windy right now, dude. I don't know if that's a tee off or if it's just we haven't done cardio in a while. But we do not do cardio, for sure. Uh, but we've actually done a video on top parks now, which is not just in Spring Hill, it's like across, well, it's really Nashville. It's like Brentwood, Brentwood a little bit of Franklin. But it's still top parks, you know what I mean? You There's some get great a parks. You feel for like what, what type of parks we have to offer here in Middleton. And it's so hard picking top parks. Like when I was doing that video, after I did the video, there was parks I left off, and I was like, man, I shouldn't have left that off. It's like so hard. We really should have just an extensive every single park. We need to, but do, a, we need to do a green, leave in the comments that we should do a green way to, uh, uh, video. I mm -hmm. think we should do that. Yeah. So where we do walking trails, like parks, it could be like an hour long. Yeah. Fishing, like all kinds of good stuff. Yeah. But um, anyway, that concludes our tour, the vlog tour of Spring Hill, Tennessee. Let us know in the comments what you thought of this episode, if there are some neighborhoods that you've heard of that you want us to talk more about. Let us know because we'd love to shoot these videos. Yeah, we hope this was helpful. Like we said, you know, we do the map tour, we do individual neighborhood tours. We're trying to give you that whole feel for what it would be like to actually live here in Spring Hill. And if that's you and you're looking to live here and maybe this video pushed you over the edge, reach out to us. We can give you information that's specific to you. Schedule that Zoom call, the link in the description. We can get on the call, we can meet you. We can figure out what's best for you and your family. And we love to, you know, we really love helping our clients out when they're Let's looking to move, move and relocate here. To Nashville or the surrounding area. Yeah, so. Well, thanks so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one.